Now it's time to create your robot finger. Remember to look at the materials list on the page that has the instructions and make sure you have all the materials you'll need to build your robot finger. Also remember, there's a point in this activity where you will probably need to have a partner like a parent or a brother or sister help to help you with this project. Have fun and start this video as soon as you have your materials. You can watch this video as many times as you want. In today's activity, you're going to make one of these, a robot finger. It's a lot bigger than your real finger, but it works the same way. It's divided into three sections at the top, just like in a real finger. The robot finger also has a fourth section at the bottom, which in a real hand is right here. It's the long bone in your palm that connects to your wrist. The finger bends in the same places as your real finger. The joints are here, here, and here where the bones meet. Each of the joints acts like a hinge, allowing the robot finger to bend in those places. Notice there's also a string that runs all the way through the finger, connecting the paper bones. That string is just like the tendons in your real hand. When the string is pulled, the paper bones bend, moving the finger. Here's how you can make one, step by step. Get your supplies. When you're done with this step, click the arrow on the right. Look at the picture of the finger bones on your handout. Try to feel these bones in your own pointer finger. Cut along the dashed lines to cut out the rectangle. Put the rectangle on your notebook. Trace all six gray lines. Use a ruler to help you make the lines straight, like this. Tracing these lines will make folding much easier in the next step. Instead of a notebook, if you have a blank piece of paper, you can use it to put your template on and you can trace on top of that blank piece of paper. Turn your paper over, then fold all six lines you just traced, like this. Make a good crease on each fold. The better you fold, the better your robot finger will work. Fold the paper in half lengthwise like this. Use your scissors to cut out the triangles. Get your 3x5 card. Then follow the steps below to cut off a 2 centimeter strip. Use the strip to cover the gray rectangle on the paper. Then tape it down with a sticker at the bottom, like this. If you don't have a sticker, you can use the piece of tape that you got. Take a paper clip and look for the end that has only one loop. Tie the string to that end, like this.
Make sure it looks like this when you're done. Set this paperclip aside. The next steps are tricky. Find a partner to help. Watch this whole step before you do anything. Fold the paper into a triangular tube like this, with the bones on the outside. Partner, you're going to slide the paper clip with no string over bone number four to hold the tube closed. Watch this whole step before you do anything. Turn the tube like this, and partner, slide the paper clip down the tube while holding the string. Then, put the paper clip over bone number one, like this. Your robot finger will work best if the knot is right at the tip of the finger. Hold the palm end of the tube and pull the string. Compare the robot finger to your finger. How are they the same? 